Cardinal was born on April 15, 1938, in La Goulette near Tunis, the capital of Tunisia, when Tunisia was under French rule. Her mother, Yolande Greco, was the daughter of Sicilian immigrants. Her father, Francesco Cardinal, was born in Gila, Sicily, and worked with the railways. She spoke French, Arabic, and the Sicilian dialect of her parents. She learnt Italian only after entering the Italian film industry. Cardinal grew up with two brothers and a younger sister. She studied at the St. Joseph de Lay Apparition School of Carthage and graduated from the Paul Cambon School. She initially wished to become a teacher. Cardinale was part of a short film named Anno Dior. When the film was displayed at the Berlin Film Festival, she was noticed by French director Jacques Baratier. She got her film break in a small role opposite Omar Sharif in Goha, 1958. The film won the jury prize at the 1958 Cannes Film Festival. During the 1957 Italian Cinema Week in Tunis, she won the Most Beautiful Italian Girl in Tunisia competition and earned a trip to the Venice Film Festival. She was noticed by film producers and received an invitation to study at the Experimental Cinematography Center. She left the institute after her first semester, as she faced language difficulties. Refusing several film offers, she returned to her hometown. However, she changed her mind because of her personal situation and signed a seven-year contract with Italian film producer Franco Cristaldi's production company, Vides. Cristaldi supported her through her difficulties, acted as her mentor, and also married her. She appeared in a small role in the successful criminal comedy Big Deal on Madonna Street, 1958, and was quickly accepted in the industry. The same year, she played a lead role in the comedy film Three Strangers in Rome. She took a brief break and went to England. In 1960, she made a name for herself with a lead role in Francesco Maselli's Silver Spoon set. In 1963, she was featured in a number of major productions, such as Visconti's The Leopard, which also starred Burt Lancaster. She also bagged a role of a film actor in Fellini's Eight and a Half. Both the films were critically acclaimed and regarded as two of the greatest films ever made. Cardinal soon became a top star. In 1965, she received her first Nastro de Argento Award for the Best Actress for her role of a prostitute in Bebo's Girl. The Pink Panther, opposite David Niven, was her first American movie, although it was produced in Italy. After the 1964 film Time of Indifference, she worked in several Hollywood films for the next three years. Despite many Hollywood movies, she could not become as popular as Sophia Loren or Gina Lolo Brigida, as she did not sign exclusive contracts. By the end of the 1960s, she returned to Italy. won the David D. Donatello for Best Actress for her performance in The Day of the Owl. One of her most well-known roles was that of a former prostitute in the epic western Once Upon a Time in the West. Cardinal worked with Brigitte Bardot in the French western comedy The Legend of Frenchie King. She won the Best Actress Award at the 1972 David D. Donatello Awards for her role of a prostitute in the comedy A Girl in Australia. Cardinal met director Pasquale Squitieri on the sets of his historical drama film I Guiapi, 1974. He was her companion till his death in 2017. 
In 2000, Cardinale made her stage debut with Maurizio Scaparro's La Vexiana in Paris. In 2002, she went on a theatrical tour of Italy. She received the 2010 Golden Orange Best Actress Award for her role of an elderly Italian woman in Signora Enrica. Her work in The Gibo and the Shadow 2012, too, was highly appreciated. Toward the beginning of her film career, Cardinale became pregnant through a relationship with a Frenchman. Her mentor, Cristaldi, helped her by sending her to London for the birth, and also kept the whole thing a secret. Cardinale's son, Patrick, grew up with Cardinale's parents. She revealed the truth to him much later. In 1966, while she was working on her Hollywood films in the US, Cristaldi joined her. They got married in Atlanta. However, the marriage was not made official in Italy. Cristaldi adopted her son. The couple split in 1975. Pasquale Squitieri was her companion from 1975 till his death in 2017. They also had a daughter named Claudia. <laughs> 